Hey, how's it going? So I recently set up this rather fancy looking little terrarium with some crypts on the inside a little experiment to see if I can grow them as an immersed plant rather than uh, under water as I have done previously uh, I didn't film the whole process because I have another video playing in the background to keep me entertained while I was working um, but I'll do have some photos, we'll take a quick look at those now let's get to it so the idea with the mass growth is to have your roots below the waterline and uh, the rest of the growth above the waterline as if it were growing waterlogged dirt beside a lake or river for instance. Um, so what we've got here is some gravel just to give it a uh, bulk the height up a little bit before we put the dirt in the top. Obviously you want your dirt deep enough to support the roots uh, going in, give them enough space to spread. Now that wants to be waterlogged, so you've given the gravel a little rinse beforehand. Take all your rock wool off your plants before you put them in, just to stop it going mouldy. This is what comes grown in. Obviously you can store some of your plants in water before you do, and then pop them in your dirt. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I do have some plants left over that I was going to put into another jar, but unfortunately the the dirt that I put in there, I cannot get it to stay clear for love nor money, so that's now going to become a miniature pond outside in its own little setup. Uh, so I'll probably drop those leftover plants. These leftover plants into that. But I shall do that later because it's raining. So this is the jar I was talking about there, so we've just used the leftover Fluval Aquarium dirt uh, to grow these into. I've got a couple of crypts to go into those, uh, so you want it nice and level now. I tried rinsing this several times but could not get the, the water to run clear, so I ended up sitting outside for about two days and it eventually cleared out quite well, as you'll see here. So this is after two days of sitting outside, so I took the remaining crypts that I had, uh, Strip the rock wool off and drop those in, like so. So we'll see how well this this does inside here. There's a jar outside that's doing really nicely outside too. And just a quick look at the remaining plants that I've got. They're uh, oats and horse chestnuts. I have a little prod from last year too. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again, have a good day.